Hello and welcome to a new series of tutorials that uh, I'm calling Morphic Creating uh, uh, JY's General User Interfaces uh, uh, custom, uh, custom General User Interfaces. And in this uh, series of tutorials, we will see how we can use Morphic uh, inside Faro to create our own custom uh, made uh, graphic user interfaces. Uh, in this series, uh, in, in this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to explain uh, how uh, a recent creation of my uh, Chronos Manager really works and how I was able to make it. And in the meantime, we were also were able to learn uh, something about uh, how Morphic really works and how we can use it. So, as you can see here, I have a graphics interfaces that is made uh, from uh, several uh, different morphs. You can do that by holding Alt, Shift and left click. And you can see here that this is an image of morph uh, with Alt and Shift and left click. We open the halos, which is, uh, think of it as an inspector for, uh, from, uh, for morphs in this case. Now, the, the way that Morphic really works is that is everything is based on a class that's called a morph class. And from there, we have a subclasses of this morph class that uh, we have uh, different kinds of morphs. In this case, this is an image morph. Uh, the, uh, the purpose of this morph is, as you can imagine, is to display an image. Uh, this image is a bit special because uh, if I click here, you, you can see here it has transparency behind it. So it's an PNG with a transparency around it. This is why we can see this circular face without having a goal. And you can understand that is, uh, that is transparent because if I click here, you can see that because I'm inside the boundaries of morph, which are always uh, rectangular, uh, this is just a transparent one, but still it can handle events uh, inside this area here. So how we can do this? Uh, and a very simple way to do this is to understand how uh, 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 we can create a morph that can display an image. Now, the first thing you have to create is a form. A form is uh, a, a graphical element that is responsible for displaying uh, an image. Uh, its purpose is only to display the image and nothing more. It's not really a morph because it cannot really, it doesn't really handle events. It doesn't really handle mouse or keyboard events. It's just an object, just a class to uh, create an image. And that's exactly how this is works. Uh, in this case, we have here a morph. We send a class method message which is from file name, and this here will just load a PNG with transparency. And if I do this, this is going to be assigned to the F variable, and I, then all I have to do is create an instance of an image morph, which I'm doing here, and then all I have to do is send to the image morph the message form and use this form, which is the F here, and now it uses this form. So if I do this, uh, and I open the morph in a window. You can see here that is the, just the basic image that I've used here, and the rest of it is just different image morphs that uh, uh, do different kind of jobs. Uh, let's see how those morphs really, really work uh, to, to get an idea how this works. Now, to go here, no, let's go to here, which is the graphical uh, GOI morph, which is actually the morph we have seen here. As you can see, it subclasses the image morph, as we have seen with Alt, Left, and Single Click. We see here it's an image morph. And if I go here to initialize, we see that I set different variables, but we can see here the morph that I've said early on. Now, you will observe that I don't really more use the morph class here. And the reason why I'm not do using the morph class is that I found uh, an alternative way of uh, loading uh, images inside uh, uh, not images inside the image file, uh, the far image file, by using uh, uh, a catalog uh, tool, a catalog package. Well, let me see if I can find it, uh, which can be found here, which is made from Peter, uh, which is called. Uh, I think I passed it. Yeah. It's called Icon Factory. Let me find it. I J. Come on. Yes, here it is. It is Icon Factory. And you can see here it links to the repository. You will find how uh, it's doing this. So what basically Icon Factory is doing is allow you to create a class. Now, this is Chronos Icons. It creates a class, has several methods inside, but one of the methods is the content 
off the PNG that uh, you can load. So it actually looks inside the folder and takes each PNG and loads it separately and it converts into a string in a binary format. Okay, so this is a string we can save with your Faro image file. And then we have a method here which is uses this method which contains a string to create a form. So form from binary string and you can see here it uses the method with the content thing which is uh, the string itself. So this is another way of doing it. Uh, you, if you want to have, you know, uh, the image inside your Faro image file, this is useful if you use Monto Hub and you, you want to distribute your images with your repository. Uh, I can show you a different ways to end it in a future tutorial uh, using GitHub and Git, which I'm probably going to use uh, from now on. So in the next tutorial, we'll see a bit more about how to use Morphic, but this is a very basic uh, introduction on how to use custom images for our models.